Hey everyone, it's Jeremy Dwayne here bringing you a setup video. Now, I've gotten w over 1,000 subscribers on my new channel. Yay! Thank you guys so much for giving me that. Uh, I was at like 1,092 subscribers on my old channel, and you know, I started this new channel because I couldn't get partnered. And, you know, I'm, I'm really thankful that uh, you guys decided to come over, you know, some of you guys, and, you know, for the new ones that have come from just stumbling upon my videos. Thank you for coming, and uh, I hope that you're enjoying it so far. And I just wanted to make a quick uh, setup video. I didn't bother cleaning anything up because, let's face it, you know, I don't have time to. And uh, there's really no point because, you know, we're all gamers, who cares? So I wanted to start off over here with the most important thing of all. Uh, one second, I need to turn on another light. Uh, not that light. One more light. Okay, there we go. I can actually see now. Uh, right here. Uh, Mountain Dew. Most important feature of the entire thing. Uh, and the Mountain Dew goes in the fridge. There's also some milk and eggs in there that uh, my mom decided to store, so now that's that's her doing. Um, if you hear this sound, it's because I'm shooting this with my Canon 5D Mark II, and I have to manually focus, and I don't have an external mic, so you're going to be hearing the, uh, the focusing of the lens. Okay, so in all honesty, that's not really the, the most important feature, but um, down here... You'll see my fancy desktop with my, uh, this is the Half X case from Cooler Master. Um, it is an amazing case. I love it. I did a setup video about this uh, on my old channel. And eventually I will do another video um, kind of going over the parts that are in it. But for now I'm just going to list what's in it in the description of this video because I do not have time to actually you know, actually go through the parts on the inside. But it's pretty beast. Um, moving along. This is the mic that I use. It is an Audio-Technica AT2020 USB condenser mic. Uh, I have it on a fancy boom stand so I can, uh, you know, do my stuff while not having to have the mic on my on my desk, so that's all cool. And uh, I got a nice spider shock wave or shock mount that it's attached to, and a pop filter. All right, uh, let's go over the monitors. Um, this one right here, if I can focus, it's hard to focus. I'm not very good at this. Uh, this monitor right here is my 32-inch uh, Samsung LCD HD TV. I have had this since like 2008. I bought it. A while back and um, this is what I used to use as my main monitor and then recently I got this new 23 inch well 23.6 inch 23.6 um, inch uh, Asus LED monitor so that's uh, pretty good um, uh, what I plan on doing is I plan on getting two more of the 23 inch because then I'll have three three monitors and I'll be able to take that 32 inch and either mount it to the wall up there and maybe get rid of that shelf that I just kind of randomly put up or um, maybe I'll just put it back in my room and use it as an actual TV instead of uh, a monitor. So that's the monitors. Um, let's go to yes let's go over this stuff so this is my Logitech G700 gaming mouse um, sorry about focus kind of there we go okay Logitech G7 uh, yeah Logitech G700 gaming mouse pretty amazing it has those macro keys on the side and you can also um, you can lock and unlock the, the mouse wheel, and that's pretty sweet. I love that mouse, it is amazing. It is, this is my Logitech uh, G510 keyboard. 
It is simply amazing. I am totally in love with this thing. Um, usually, um, I, I I haven't had time to actually program these macro keys over there, but uh, they're pretty sweet. Um, this is my Logitech G13 macro keyboard. I use this for, um, like on RuneScape, I'll have some of the buttons set up as the different tabs and then I use this joystick there to control the camera it's just a little easier than using um, it's easier than having to control the camera with the arrow keys and controlling the inventory uh, the inventory tabs with the F keys up there it's just easier to have it all on one thing and then also I have my login information <laughs> set up on it because I'm lazy and it's a lot faster to just you know press one button to put it all in. This right here, uh, it's kind of dark. Uh, let's see if I can fix that. Uh, it helped a little bit. Um, this right here is my Logitech C910, I believe that's what it is, C910 uh, webcam. This is what I use for all my live streams and for all of my green screen stuff. Uh, it's amazing webcam. 1080p. Uh, I mean, obviously webcams aren't true 1080p, but it does a pretty good job, and I am not complaining. Um, let's see. Let's go over to the Xbox and Wii. Oh, I actually no. There's one more very important piece of equipment that I cannot skip, and that is my my Astro A40s. Uh, absolutely love these. They are definitely MLG and I love it. They are amazing quality for audio and I would be lost without them. Okay, uh, iPad, just the, that's just the iPad 1. I've had it for a while. Uh, oh, yeah, I got it a while back. Um, this is the Razer Onzi or Onzi uh, controller for Xbox. Uh, why did I get this? Because these joysticks, you can adjust the, the traction on it so that you know it has more friction, so you know you're more accurate or whatever. And then also you can um, it has extra has extra buttons up here, so you can like program it to be the jump or knife button. So it's it's really nice for um, for like MW3 where you, you want to like jump and knife at the same time or you know whatever there's a whole different combination of things that you can do uh, let me move these games up here because that's where they belong okay moving up to the xbox let's bring this up so you can see okay xbox 360 slim it's that the new black one with the touch the touch turn on and turn off uh, it's pretty sweet. I like it a lot. Um, I used to have, well I still have it, but I, I had a old first gen Xbox and it finally died. So I got a new Slim. Here's my brand new Wii. I just got that the other week. You saw the video of me unboxing that. It's amazing. I love it. It's so much fun. Cannot get over the fact that it sucks though, because it doesn't, not, it doesn't have HD. But you know, whatever. Um, Wii nunchucks and the classic controller, extra batteries for whatever. Uh, here are just some of the games that I play on Xbox 360 regularly. Um, as you can see, it's mostly just Call of Duty, but uh, I do have um, do have Gears of War 2 and 1, but they're not here. They're probably upstairs somewhere. Um, and then that is Halo, uh, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition which is an amazing game and you guys will be seeing a campaign playthrough of that with me and Alex sometime soon. Um, printer ink, astro case, these, these my friend are amazing. Okay, these, for those that don't know, are Gunner's Optic glasses. What they do is they help you focus on the screen more so you can, so your eyes don't strain and so you can actually, you know, play the game instead of like having her eyes that hurt. Um, I use them for work for just, you know, sitting at the computer sometimes. You know, my eyes do get uh, dried out because I wear contacts, so 
uh, sometimes these help out a lot and make the difference between being able to, uh, you know, do a full day's work or having to, like, take a break. Um, so very helpful. All right, I need to move this up here so you can see. Okay, so uh, this is my my wireless router. It is an Asus. Uh, it is pretty much the best router on the market right now. Um, if you want the model number, it is a RTN56U. Uh, so you can go ahead and look that up if you want to. Um, and then over here, I have my modem, which is a Motorola surfboard uh, SB6121. Again, pretty much the best thing you can get right now. Um, really, really fast. And for those of you wondering what my internet speed is, I have 100 meg download and 5 meg upload. Uh, so it's very nice. Very nice internet. This here, probably not something that your average user will have. That is a network server hard drive. Um, this is just a, a really cheap one from iOmega. It's really nice. It's one terabyte. Uh, I use it for transferring stuff from my Mac to my PC because sometimes my external hard drives, which are right there, uh, this is a 500 gig uh, Firewire 800 hard drive and that's just a, a good old 300 gig USB hard drive that I've had for years. Um, so uh, it's really nice to have a network hard drive in your setup because you can just you know you can just drop files on it and then you know you're good to go um you know other than that I have I have some good old fashioned N64 games and NES games some uh, Game Boy Pokemon games right there Paperboy oh yeah classics um, I was planning on getting um, a dazzle for recording these, but I decided not to. I decided not to because uh, I don't know. I just didn't really feel the need to spend like 50 bucks on another capture device when, you know, honestly, it's not probably gonna. It's probably not gonna bring in that many views for me. So I just gave up on it. But anyways, that is my setup um, for the most part. I'll probably try to go into more detail of some of it in the description and possibly more in uh, other videos stuff like that um, I will be doing kind of a rundown of my computer at some point whenever I get around to it and um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, excuse the mess but over there that's my green screen really cheap you know nothing fancy to it but um, yeah so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers on this new channel. That really means a lot to me, and uh, your support is greatly appreciated. <sighs> Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you aren't, and we will see you next time. Peace.